safety alert for people who ride e-bikes. They are becoming linked to more accidents, especially among older adults. And Daybreak's Alexander Rios Malvia has more on how to keep you safe on our streets. It looks like any other bike. I just love them. And that's kind of the point. You can go further, faster. You pedal like a regular bike, but for Kenny Generals and other e-bike riders, it gives you an extra boost. It's hard to explain, but it helps you in the wind especially. The worse the weather, the more it helps. Oh. Sue Williams of West Seneca also comes to Nywanda Park specifically to ride her e-bike. Peaceful, especially when there's a view and the boat. <laughs> but also to avoid accidents. Unlike Sue, Kenny has been hit by a golf cart while riding his e-bike. Split my head open and I ended up by ambulance going to the hospital uh, for a head trauma unit. Kenny now takes more precautions while riding. Gotta watch, careful, everybody around you. Don't trust no one. ECMC's Vice President of Critical Care and Emergency Services, Dr. Meg Riley, says that's exactly why you should be careful. It isn't a regular bicycle. It's not the bicycles that we grew up utilizing when you know, we were teenagers and in our 20s. According to ECMC, there were 23 emergency department visits related to e-bikes last year. So far this year, that number has nearly doubled. It usually isn't the bike hitting a car or the bike hitting an animal. It's just the operator losing control of the bike. In some cases, riders aren't wearing helmets. And majority of patients they treat for e-bike injuries are adults 44 and older. They're taken aback by the speed of the bikes, so it seems innocuous, but it's really, uh, it's a motor vehicle. North Tonawana Police Chief Keith Glass hopes to reverse the trend of e-bike injuries. When you look and you see a bicycle coming at you, you expect a, a, a slower moving bicycle. And sometimes it's, it's an e-bike, which can go up to 20 miles an hour and that can be confusing for, for drivers. E-bikes are regulated like bicycles and follow the same rules of the road. If they're out drinking at a bar, instead of driving, they're gonna use their e-bike. You still have to follow the rules of the road. In still incredibly dangerous to be riding you know, an e-bike after you've been drinking, and you can still get a DWI on an e-bike. It's important to note that you don't require the same registration, licensing, or insurance as motor vehicles to ride an e-bike here in Western New York, and you need to be at least 16 years old to ride. But for more information on what you can and you can't do on these e-bikes, I included a graphic from North Tonawanda Police with this story on our website. Melissa. All right. Very useful information. Alex, thank you. 609 now on.